Hi, I'm Scott from Sharky's Floral and Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer. Today we're talking about Christmas cactuses. Now there's three different types of these tropical cactuses and this is actually not a Christmas cactus. This is a Thanksgiving cactus. So there's three diff different types, the Christmas cactus, the Thanksgiving cactus, and the Easter cactus. And it all has to do with when they bloom. But there is a way to tell the difference between the three of them, and that's in the leaves. And we do have a picture of the different types on our blog at our website, our beatyourneighbor.com website, and it does show the different types of leaves. Now the way that you can tell that this is a Thanksgiving cactus is it's really pointy. So it's, it's not sharp, but it, it does have that real sharp uh, leaf to it. The Christmas cactus and the Easter cactus are, are much more round shape, and that's the way to tell the difference outside of when they bloom. So it's right around Thanksgiving time, and you can see that our Thanksgiving cactus is in full bloom. And it's, it's almost past that point now. It's the, the blooms are starting to drop off. So the care for all three of these tropical cactuses is pretty simple. And they're very pretty, a lot of people have them. So what you want to have is a nice bright uh, area, like a southern window, but you don't want it sitting in full direct sunlight. You want that sunlight to be kind of diffused, but very bright. So they do very well in a south facing window during that winter time where they gets a lot of indirect sunlight. And we don't want to overwater them. That's where most people get into trouble. So the way that you want to water them is feel, feel the soil and it should just be moist to the touch once it's been watered. So don't overwater. Um, that's where you'll start losing your leaves and um, the leaves will, will get black spots and when it does flower, it'll drop those flowers very quickly. So don't overwater. If you're gonna air, kinda air on the drier side. Again, just use your finger, touch it once it's dry and this one is dry so it's ready to get a little bit of water. And this pot is, it doesn't have any drainage so we have to be careful when we water. Uh, we don't want this sitting in water and we do have some stones at the bottom just to catch any extra water and we do have just regular good quality potting soil once we had transplanted this into this pot so we're very careful and throughout this the summer and uh it, it's getting a little bit more water but once we start heading towards that time where it's going to start blooming we're going to cut back on the watering and we're also we're not going to fertilize it about a month prior to the time that it's supposed to bloom but we'll, we will fertilize about three times a year. So about every three months, three to four months, uh, we'll fertilize um, with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. And that will give it those nutrients that it needs. It's, again, it's not like a regular plant where it's getting that water you know, all the time. So we're only gonna fertilize about once every three months. And then right before that, it's, it's about a month where it's setting those buds, then we're gonna pull back on the fertilizer then it, it'll flower, it'll drop its flowers once it goes through that season, and then we can start back into about once every three months on the fertilizing. Now, once this does drop all its leaves, uh, we go through and we, we actually clean up the leaves, uh, or I'm sorry, the one once it drops all the blooms. We go through and basically kind of dust it, um, go ahead and, and clean it off, uh, keep it nice looking for the rest of the year. But they're fun, a lot of people have the Christmas cactuses, they actually don't know, maybe they, they picked them up and they might have a Easter cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus. And it's funny to hear them say, boy, my, my Christmas cactus bloomed more at Easter. Well, actually, you, you probably have an Easter cactus if, if that's the scenario. So it'll bloom right around those times of those holidays, uh, which is why they get that name. So I do have a link in this video description uh, showing you more of the, the care for the Christmas, the Easter, and the Thanksgiving cactuses. And we also have a graphic that shows you uh, so if you have one at home and you're not quite sure which it is, we do have a graphic that shows you exactly the leaves and you'll be able to tell which it is. And that's at our beatyourneighbor.com website. Thank you. Have a great day.